How's it going guys? Uh, welcome back to another video. Um, today we are going to be discussing some of the moves in the market, uh, what I see coming, and, and today is a special day because today is an opportunity. And opportunities arise, uh, arise uh, throughout times, frames in the market, but a, a really special opportunity like this that we can identify and have a confirmation as to why things are happening so we can predict what's going to happen in the future. Um, so. Let's take a look at the account. Uh, going into it, we have 4,300 Mara shares, but I want to show you guys today, um, even though Marathon has been doing absolutely horrendous, go to positions. We have 21.19. That's the price right now, basically down almost on the day. Well, Clean Spark is up 21%. Um, and what we did is we sold some $27 calls. Those are trading at about 50. I, I think these are very beautiful calls. The likelihood of the stock getting here, very, very unprobable. Um, and, and in some other accounts, I did sell some other calls, but today was a very nice day to sell some clean spark calls. Um, and, and if they, they continue to run, I just rotate this in the mirror, right? This is very easy. But I want to talk to you guys about what's really going on. And, and look at it right now. Refresh it here. They're at 4x a hash. They have not been mining very many. You can look in the last 24 hours, they've only had 1% of the blocks. They've historically had about 4%, and they're looking to get 5 to 6%. Uh, in the last week, we've had 2%. We have not been mining very many blocks, and this has been going on for the past two months. Okay, and what I understand, and, and what I forecast, and this is not like no guarantee, but this is making an investment is, is almost like making a prediction. And uh, this is where my logic le leaves me to believe because we only get updates and earnings reports and, and at the end of the month of how many Bitcoin they mine. Uh, but they mine, we can see how many Bitcoin they mine. It, it's known unknown. So we know that they've been underperforming. We know that they've done a share dilution and we've gotten $183 million buy, yet CleanSpark is producing record numbers and they're really $1 billion off of market cap. Um, from us now, but some interesting news came out today, and I think this is very bullish for the long term And let me explain why I believe we've been underperforming so a mining rig looks like this if you guys don't know um, And it's it's very large and to physically take these things out You have to turn all the power offline for all these miners and then f hand remove these uh, to access the internal core chip and what we saw is today Marathon Digital launches new firmware for Bitcoin mining rigs. And this firmware has to be implemented on the USB-C, uh, on the chip, on, on the UCB2100, um, and on the GPU. This is likely being implemented on all their current miners, which is why they have had to take them off in the past, tested them in the past, turn some online, turn some offline, making sure that everything is going accordingly so that they can optimize efficiency in the future, possibly save rarity on, on the miner if it's using less energy, um, produce similar amounts of Bitcoin, as well as now they own this integrated technology that they're allowing to sell and will most likely be sold to other companies. And as soon as that revenue gets year over year, year increases, we're going to be see a very profitable gain. And as soon as this Bitcoin halving happens, this is where I think Marathon Digital is set to really take off, really expand its market cap, expand its its money. Um, they own four times as much as Bitcoin or as CleanSpark in terms of Bitcoin holdings. They have the capacity to do two times as much Bitcoin. They own $1.1 billion in cash. So all three of these things, and they have their own Aduro network and firmware network, which in the space of AI is very important. They own almost 50% of their mining network now, which would be the same as CleanSpark. Um, I, I just don't see how this company is only a $1 billion worth more company than, than they are. And when you look at the numbers of in terms of Marathon and CleanSpark, is it to say CleanSpark's overvalued? I don't know. Um, I, I think it's a great company. I think it's somewhat fairly valued. It's it's doing very well, the, the CEO has been very well, and I expect this to perform relatively to how Bitcoin's been performing, obviously 23% on an 8% day, uh, likely I believe to be too much, but it's a, a technical breakout. Um, and, and so if, if Bitcoin goes to 100,000, I see no reason why CleanSpark won't be at 35 to 
the question is is why Marathon Digital, our largest holding and, and continu continuously getting larger holding, is doing better. And, and we're going to talk to the charts, but I want to quickly go over micro strategies. And, and this market cap value, it's up 20%. So we can add another $5 billion to that. So it's at about $30.38 roughly billion. dollars. And, and you see, that's a very $31 billion. It is a very large market cap for a company that owns about 206,000 Bitcoin, uh, which would, would at the price of Bitcoin, right, put it a little bit over $16 billion in terms of actual Bitcoin holdings. And in, in the past, we have seen this company um, market share, because it's, there's an underlying business underneath all their Bitcoin holdings, traded about a $1.5 to, let's say, $3 billion market cap um, in, in terms of leverage Bitcoin. Uh now is is trading at a roughly close to the ten billion dollar market cap, and that's because the intrinsic value of Michael Saylor being your CEO has gone up, telling you what you're doing, leveraging long term debt, and the leveraging of long term debt is the most important combined with the technical breakout. If you think that somebody is going to make more money in the future um, and progressively do good things, well, you're going to pay a higher premium to own that company because there's more of a guarantee, there's more of a certainty. Why did Disney CEO far underperform for a large period of time when they, when they were in the same sector as Netflix, which way overperformed? And their, their parks were opening back up. They had growth in, in all their sectors. Well, growth started to decline because their CEO uh, mismanaged the business model. And, and so that happens in the stock market and you will be punished and same with tesla when elon musk far was outperforming what wall street was expecting was rewarded with thousands and thousands percents of gains and what i see here in marathon digital and in this crypto mining market as well is a very well managed companies in clean spark and mara and i think current results from clean spark and from from past investments and we're going to bring up the chart here on Weeble, but I want to do the Weeble desktop because I want to make it white. So let's see if this loads in here. So you can see large order inflow into uh, BlackRock's ETF. 11% gain from over the weekend. Large inflow, these small, coupled with these small outflows, very much so just profit taking before the Fed decision, a little bit of profit taking because there's a lot of selling pressure, but these large inflows far swell up uh, these outflows. And we can go here to Mara, and they have seen, no, that's not it. Small outflows, but their large inflow far outweighed these these smaller outflows. Um, and, and whereas CleanSpark in the same sector, large in, lots of inflows every single day, and it's moving very very nicely. Look at micro strategies. Look at on day to day, it's up twenty percent. Large inflows uh, far far outpacing these outflows. Um, and, and once again, we can even go to Coinbase, something that has been performing very well and and, and a nice backbone of, of where the crypto market whether micro strategies all these are getting overvalued or undervalued and there has been some outflow but because the price the hype of, of the volatility of, of crypto has gone up so much that there's more people more volume being traded relatively uh, an inflow trend and, and you look, we can go to the stocks here um we can look at ooh, we can see paper trading where do we go to chart okay whatever chart just make it ourselves go to the chart here and we pin it on let's say coinbase zoom out to the daily we can see a direct uptrend like like this is very nice this is a very bullish break there was earnings to back this there was good results and we really draw the fade here and we're in the uptrend towards three hundred dollars right we had the breakout we had the previous trend line, the rejection from from the past, and look at the breakout. It gapped up on earnings, rejected, came back, and, and pushed through, and now we're breaking through the next kind of retracement breakthrough. Uh, and, and we're making these levels, these exponential gains, 
to the uptrend. This is this is what you want to see out of the stock. These are meant to outpace the gains of Bitcoin relatively because they are meant to trade off of a multiple because they are stocks on the stock market of Bitcoin. Now, micro strategies less so, but even still so because they can forecast more Bitcoin. The reason why these ETFs can't do that is because no matter how much money comes in, they actually have to own a one to one value of Bitcoin plus their minus their 0.2% fee. And that's why a lot of money has came out of uh, grayscale um, and why there's a lot of selling pressures because nobody wants to pay a 1.5% fee when they can just pay a 0.29% fee. Um, so no matter how much, what value Bitcoin is at, they, they will have to own as much Bitcoin as there is daily inflows into their stock, into their ETF. And that's the trend and that's likely continuing the trend as it's meant to be a, a money hedge inflation. It's me meant to go against inflation. And as more people see that, and as more people see this come to fruition, Bitcoin is likely going to increase in price. And that's why then you can see this, this once again, very bullish uptrend. And you can even draw uh, another one because there was uh, a retracement of it after the ETF approval um, or into the there was a little bit of a pullback there, but lots of very nice uptrends. And even you draw another line from this other breakout up up here we're not even close we could consolidate for a while and then still push higher and the likelihood is is if bitcoin is going to move in the general direction so will these stocks now you look at mara and you ask why is it flat why is it almost down on a day like today well their mining is all offline as well it has regained its retraction at the resistance point at the downtrend from here okay so so there's a lot of downward uh, pressure on the stock now there does happen to be a lot of uh, support down here right at the right at the twenty dollars seventy cents mark, right almost where we are today um but i don't know how it's going to close there's about 38 minutes left in the day it, it, it's coming down to red but let's let's look at what bitcoin is doing is it why is a stock up 20% in the same sector and one not up at all. And it's because of the fact that they have not been performing in this month. But the question at hand is, is, is it going to continue to be like that? When Riot or when CleanSpark made their, their lots of their big plays was right around here. They share diluted a ton of shares right around here. Um, and when you look at its price, it, it far underperformed in this uptrend than what Marathon did. Marathon far outperformed CleanSpark, but in and in during this time, well, they were share diluting. But then the Bitcoin price, two x, three x, four x, whatever, um, from this point, and you've seen much, much bigger gains. Marathon Digital has share diluted up here at this price point in time. They have invested their money from here. However, they will make the multiple. As Bitcoin gets up into this $120,000, $130,000, $140,000 mark, they are likely to benefit at a higher multiple percentage uh, point than CleanSpark will because CleanSpark doesn't have new investment money. They are realizing it because their gains are built off of the $30,000. Will they still make gains as Bitcoin goes to $140,000? Absolutely. But who will make better gains and more profitable gains at a percentage ratio? Likely from this point on, Marathon Digital. Okay, and there's likely to be times where this changes. This goes from marathons overbought and clean sparks oversold, and then clean sparks overbought and marathons oversold. And we work off this, but identifying what is going on and why it is going on is very, very keyly important. And you saw how much that this this had gone up. You see this downtrend break. You see it's broken above the black line. The next stop here is seventy four thousand, and likely if it breaks again, it is going to go up higher. There is not enough Bitcoin as there is liquidity in the market for the Bitcoin. So the price of it must go up and at, at that point as it accelerates their gains likely to 2x at some point from 69,000 I expect Marathon Digital to ha have the best percentage gains from this point so we'll see um, lots of time in the market there's gonna this is why we invest in multiple investments it's why we don't just own clean spark we don't just own marathon we, 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 we try and own a little bit and we leverage in plays we like more and unleverage in plays we like less. But if we're, we're looking at a sector, it, it's nice to have some sort of safety net so that if you still get the direction of the sector right, which is the easiest thing to predict, the right, the right thing to predict, predicting the trend within it as well, um, you still make gains, okay? Uh, we st we're still up and we're still making money. We're selling call options on CleanSpark 
and we're moving forward. But I, I really expect this to be a short-term thing, and, and as Bitcoin gets closer to this point, uh, all these stocks are going to severely rise.